Sounds flux at an unpredictable interval. Hello my friends, it's Thursday the 19th, I believe, of September, the day the new iOS 7 comes out for your iPhone. This is an all new thing, I'm going to do a little test of it for you right now. I got this crazy gadget that hooks my iPhone up to my computer. I got to hold it in this rig here, so let me just see if I can turn it on. First things first, I'll tell you what we're going to notice. Oh, so it just sort of glows to life, like that, isn't it nice? Okay, right away you notice, here we see, that instead of the bars at the top, we got dots. So instead of having like three bars of service from AT&T, you're going to have three dots of service if you can stand to live with that. Let's see what else. Okay, the clock is very faint and sort of wispy looking as are the words at the bottom. I can myself, anyone had slide the whole screen over to launch. Oh, the way it launches, very sexy that the icon sort of drop in as if from the sky. Let's do that again. And we slide it on. Whoosh, oh, they all just drop down there like a bunch of pennies from heaven. The icons are all very smooth and flat. They used to be all 3D and kind of jewel-like. Now they're sort of punched out, like just cut out with no drop shadows, no embossment or anything. And the way they behave is also strange. Like if I touch this little thing right here for my social folder, it whooshes open, it whooshes up at me. Want to go back, it whooshes back down and everything slides around. Isn't that cool? And then I can swoosh it side to side. The other thing you noticed, the background picture, that's my friend Mark Gray and his lovely children. If I take the phone, I want to take it up here. Let me show you the side here. If I tilt it from side to side like this, I don't know if you can see that. Well, it didn't do it, because I think it's something to do with how it's hooked into the computer here using AirPlay. Is uh, It's not doing it. But the background sort of shifts from side to side to give you a false parallax 3D, as if your icons are floating 3D above your background picture, which that is pretty cool. Let's see what else. Oh, I got a text here. What's going on? Oh, she came right at me. Hello, Pez. I can see what the text look like there. This is an ad from a local bar in my neighborhood. If we hit that, we'll go to the web browser. Whoosh, it just goes over there, right to a web browser. Notice at the bottom there, the cool icons for the web browser. Bookmarks, oh, the bookmark. Everything is all dainty and sort of faint and blue now. Fascinating, fascinating stuff. Whoosh through, how does it, how does it do? If we go to my Fiverr page, boop, open that. These are people on Fiverr who buy Professor Puppet videos from me. Now check this out. You know how I did before, if you wanted to change apps, you would double click on the thumb button and it would go. So watch, I double click on the thumb button, click, click, and whoosh, oh, look at that. I still got the apps at the bottom, but I can actually see all the windows of everything going by. Isn't that cool? Oh, there's Angry Birds. There's Candy Crush. Let's check it. What's happening at Candy Crush? I want a quest. Play. Do -do -do -do. Whoosh. Clear all the jelly. I don't have time for that sort of thing. I clear one jelly. Oh, that was pretty good. Sweet. Okay. Well, but more with you later, sweet man. Click, click. And there's all of my open apps, you see. Isn't that cool? Now slide by. Oh, what's happening on OK Cupid? Oh, someone likes me. This is a cool app. You can see whether if you like someone, you swipe them to the right. If you don't like them, you swipe them to the left. So then you can. So Sheila took some more photos of her. Da, 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 da. I don't think she's really my type. So give her the X. Doot. And da 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 sorting out the ladies, the ones that we like from the ones otherwise. Anyway, back to business. Of course, we can click the big button to go back to the main screen here. What else do we have? This is cool. I learned this. If you swipe down from the top, you get all of your of your notifications, your tweets and things that have come in. There's my Instagrams. Stephanie Pressman has liked my photo. Which one is it? Oh, it's a picture from the YouTube space. Isn't that cool? And so if I swipe down, I can see all of these things. Swipe up to get rid of it. If I swipe up from the bottom, watch what happens. Whoosh! I get this cool little control panel. And I can do lots of things. I can go to airplane mode here. I can uh, go to do not disturb, which I quite enjoy in the movie, so the texts don't bother you. I can uh, lock my tilter right there. I can change the brightness on the phone there. I don't know if you can see it on the computer. Probably not. I can... Uh, Angels, what the hell? Oh, that's, I can play when I was playing in my iTunes, you see. It's kind of quiet. Up there, they're playing. Okay, that's the boring. And what else I can do? Hit the button there, the flashlight goes on. Take my word for the flashlight's on. I get the calculator, which seems kind of useful. Push, there it is. I don't really want the calculator. So, uh, I get the camera there as well. Now the camera's kind of cool. 
This is just a picture of my desk. It's got built-in filters, so you can Instagram stuff just like that. You can choose normal. That's what my desk looks like normally. Or you can uh, choose black and white or something else. Any of these filters, you can make it square. And you can switch it to video just by sliding the thing around the bottom. It's very cool. And you can even switch the thing around so it says your face just like that there. Isn't that cool? I'm gonna, okay, I'm going to switch it again. Yeah, so I can press that button. Oh, it kind of threw it out of focus before I zoomed back. A lot of little bright touches like that, which I kind of like. What's the weather look like? Oh, it's also it's also sparse and light. I feel like I'm on an airplane reading an airplane magazine. Oh, today that's San Diego. I don't live in San Diego. New York, it's starry. Anaheim, it's 77. And uh, Paris, it's 57. London. What about Los Angeles? This is hard to say. There we go, Van Nuys. That's where I'm at. 82 degrees. It's not that bad out today. Oh, this is a kind of cool thing. Watch this. If I hit photos, boop, just like that, I get all my photo albums, you know. That's fine. Regular photo albums. But I also get my, where is it, my photo stream, which I didn't even know I had. And within my photo stream, I can go to photos, and somehow it saved every photo I've ever taken on the iPhone. Some in the cloud, or God knows where it is. And I can see, oh, look at all the photos I've taken. You know, I can zoom in on different places, and times, and... Look at all the, all, all right there, just in my phone, at my fingertips. It's, it's really, it's kind of earth-shattering. Anyway, thank you for that iPhone. That Mark Gray, a lot of pictures of him on here for some reason. Oh, he's a handsome devil. Hmm. Let's try the map. What's the map look like? We hit the map. Looks a little bit glossier, a little bit different. Oh, help improve maps. Allow Apple to use your frequent locations to improve maps. Okay, why not? I'm a team player. How do I get to the... Okay, oh, I see. Used to be it was a quarter of a page, but now it's just a thing in the corner. I want to go hybrid. This is amazing. This is right on my phone. Look at this. I can swoosh around. I live in the Matrix, apparently. And I can see the buildings, and I can tilt it up, and I can fly around like Superman and see everything. Isn't that amazing? Now watch this. Hollywood and Highland. That's a very special location in Los Angeles, Hollywood and Highland. Boop. Here we go. We're going to fly there. Whoosh. Hollywood and Highland. This is the heart of Hollywood, folks. And there it is. I'm going to zoom in on it. Just like zooming in. And I can see. Come on, Matrix. There's the Kodak Theater there. And if I turn this around, I can see. There it is. This is man's Chinese theater. Right here. Where the hell am I? Oh, it's there. Look, there's a tall building I can't see through. If I turn it around, I can go right down Hollywood Boulevard there. Look at this. There is Hollywood Boulevard. There's the Chinese theater. My point is you can find anything on Earth and look at the 3D map of it and fly around like Superman. You got a store you want to go to? Just look at the address and you'll see the front of it, you know? Pretty amazing. Look at this. Where should we go? Hmm. Oh, okay. Here we go. Paris, France. Oh, okay. Oh, Eiffel Tower. Let's go there. Whoosh. Okay. Through the magic of the phone, we are flying to Paris, France. To the Eiffel Tower. Da 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 Look at that! Eiffel Tower. On my bloody phone! Can you believe that? This is not new to R7. You know what? I had this before. But, uh, I don't know. It's still pretty awesome, don't you think? I think it's just wonderful. Take a little little trip through Paris, down the Seine, Quai des Tuileries. Oh, now we're the Matrix again. Come on, France. This is amazing. You know, I bet you better taking a second, but oh my God, it's just incredible. Let's go in here. Look how romantic the Seine looks. Oh, is this, what's that? Is that the Louvre? Oh, that's the Louvre. There's the pyramid in the middle of the Louvre. Rue de Rivoli. Oh, good heavens. Let's go to the Louvre. Well, I could play like this all day, folks, but let's let's get back to business. This is iPhone OS 7. It's 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 not super new, but it looks very cool. It's very classy. And uh, if you're not excited about your new plastic or gold iPhone that you're going to get next week yet, now is the time. Okay, my friends? Enjoy your phone, and it's lovely speaking to you. iOS 7, I endorse thee. Say, look closely. When I tilt it back and forth, you say, it looks like it's 3D, huh? See what I'm talking about? When I tilt it back and forth, it looks a little bit 3D. Huh? Huh? You see that? You see that? Nobel Prize!